Well, now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. What is the machine saying? We seem to have found it. Do you know why we have called you here? As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? It is good you recognize this. It means you will understand why you must leave us. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When she was here, I felt it. It was as if she was not there. More like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. She has lost herself. She is no Jedi. She walked Revan's path, but she was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. She has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. 
We should not have let her depart. She will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with her, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let her go because we must. Where she travels, she carries her destination with her. Malachor V should have been her grave. You saw it in her walk, and in the Force. It was as if she was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and she cuts like a blade through it. We should have told her the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years we will call her before us and explain what happened to her, and how she may be healed. Until then, she must accept her journey. But she may never discover the truth, and she will never know why we cast her out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient uh. to be anything but a trap. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. I don't know, General, but whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal, though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common, though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you, and if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. Well, check it again. It can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. Well, whatever you call that thing on your... head. Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. Got a minute? I'm a little busy here. What is it? Won't take more than a minute. All right, I'll work. While you talk. Look, your friend, the Jedi? You know her from way back, don't you? How much do you know about her, really? Her? You mean the General? Yeah, during the war. If that's what you mean by way back. Can't say I know too much about her, though. Better than anyone else on this ship. Just give me your opinion, okay? And don't laugh. I'm trying to work here, Atten. I was just wondering if you thought maybe... She and I might... You're being serious. You said you wouldn't laugh. You are being serious. Atten, she was a general. I was just a tech. Your guess is about as good as mine. Well, what's your guess, then? I'm getting back to work. Hey! I'm being serious here. You're laughing at me? I'll put you on the scrap heap, you walking tin can. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. 
I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you, too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes... I didn't want to talk about the war, but can I ask you something? Why did you decide to fight? The war went poorly before Revan and the Jedi lent aid to the Republic. Many of us believed the Jedi to be cowards who were afraid to face the Mandalorian threat. I remembered when word of the Mandalorian attacks arrived on Iridonia. My people had colonies across the Outer Rim. Many of them were among the first systems to fall. I did not join because I wanted to protect, though. I hated them. I remember the thrill. Do you know how? I couldn't do that. It was almost as though the battle took control of me. It's always on my mind now that I... Was there something... Just working on the ship. I'm not sure who got her up and running, but I'm amazed. Whoever made these repairs doesn't think like most mechanics. But yes, General? Sure, just something. Yes? Have you come with questions? Very well. I confess its nature illu- It seems that at times of- When battle is upon us- Very well. The knowledge- Ask-
know, I noticed a glow before, but now, now it's bright around you. You've come a long way since Paragus, and despite all we've been through, you seem a lot better for it. It shows. It's kind of inspiring, to be honest. Anyway, just wanted to mention it. I think the others have noticed it too. Something up? All right, but I'm out of credit. Something up? All right. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, that. Don't tell anyone, but you wouldn't believe how many fights you can prevent by just pretending to know that stuff. I mean, it doesn't compare to wearing a lightsaber, but then again, that doesn't seem to help you much. Well, hey. Thanks. But you've got the wrong guy. I'm good at shooting people, cracking wise, and pretending to know how to fight with my hands. All right. Something up? All right. Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. You're one of the salvagers, right? Your ship looks banged up enough to be part of that lot. But you look different. Then who are you? The only recent visitors we've had on Dentuin have been salvagers and a slew of mercenaries. We get a lot of that here, too. Ever since the Enclave got slagged, seems half the people that visit are smugglers or worse. You probably want to head to Kunda, then. Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. She was the agricultural administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. 
The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a vibroblade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on cath hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the cath hound and kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident-prone. Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers unless they get permission from Adare. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. Greetings and good day, traveler. On behalf of the Kunda settlement, I am programmed to welcome you to Dantooine. Is there something I can do to serve you? My apologies. I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be over... Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level 7 impairment. Multiple casing breaches detected. Bipedal servos misaligned by 32 degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately 56 months overdue for maintenance. Greetings, Jedi. Welcome back to Dantooine. Hey, did that droid just call you a Jedi? May I be of further service to you, Jedi? No mistake about it. That droid is calling you a Jedi. Well, I suppose not. Your eyes aren't glowing and you don't have horns sticking out of your forehead. <laughs> Crazy droid. Sorry for being jumpy. It's just that we hate the Jedi here. Why? The Jedi are the cause of everything bad that's happened here in the last five years. Oh, don't get me started. I've got too much work to do to stand around and rant about the damn Jedi. If you want to hear more, just talk to anyone in Kunda Outpost. Greetings, Jedi. May I be a... The local militia occasionally offers employment to qualified soldiers. Speak to Zeron in the Kunda outpost. Additionally, many visitors come to Kunda to explore the ruins for salvage opportunities. The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda outpost. You may visit the ruins at your own risk. Zeron strongly urges salvage. May I... My memory banks recognize you as a Jedi. You are among many Jedi who were trained in the Academy here at the Enclave, prior to its destruction during the Sith invasion. You are on the register as one of the Jedi who left the Enclave to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. My memory has no record of your return before now. You had no direct interaction with this droid. However, I had one instance of a conversation between Masters Rook and Vandar regarding you. Beginning playback. Error. Recording partially corrupted. Resolving. Today I caught her in a heated argument with my Padawan. Her master refuses to properly discipline. I want to know what action you intend. Rook, I respect your wisdom, but it is not your concern. But uncontrolled. Whatever the other Padawans see her do, they are quick to do the same. Other students dislike her intensely. True. An average student of the Force, but with a unique strength, is a natural leader. I strongly disagree. Mediocre Jedi. Lust for power. Will lead to the dark side. Furthermore, in... Recording degraded. End playback. May I be of any further service to you? My mem- 
Approximately five years ago, the Dark Jedi Malak and his Sith fleet assaulted Dantooine. The surprise of the initial orbital bombardments prevented any resistance from the surface. The attack destroyed much of the Jedi Enclave, leaving only the sublevel partially intact. The Sith attack also concentrated heavily on some obscure ruins to the south, but the reason for this is unknown. May I... If you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. Thank <laughs> you. 
Time for cursed salvagers. Can't you tell? I'm a mechanic. In fact, I'm the only mechanic here in Kunda. I'm responsible for maintaining everything mechanical or electrical at the Kunda outpost. Yeah, sometimes it seems nothing works around here, but I don't have time to complain. Too much work to do. You're right. Well, between the droids, the security doors, and the gun turrets, I have my hands full. Well, it's just one door, actually, but I could scratch my head bald before I figured out how to fix it proper. Problem is, the side security door to Kunda was damaged in the war. Every time I try to fix it, the door either sticks open or it locks down completely. And then I have to spend a week taking it apart to get it to open or close again. All of the droids in Kunda are relics from the last war. Most of them are damaged and rusted. The best I could do was get that ratchety old protocol droid over there operational so it could greet visitors. Most of the other droids are laying broken around Kunda outpost. The gun turrets outside the Kunda outpost are supposed to defend against potential assaults, wild critters and the like. But they only work half the time. Sometimes they get confused as to what's friend and foe. Why, just the other day, right after I repaired one of the guns, it turned on a sorry group of militia men returning from a patrol. No casualties, but it put several of them in the med lab. And I can't seem to fix the blasted medical droid either. Is this gonna take long? The Salvagers are a crazed lot of treasure hunters, looking to loot something of value from the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Most of them end up broke, or dead. If you ask me, anything of value that was in the Enclave has already been plundered. Nothing but rumor. They say the spirits of the angry dead haunt the ruins. On a quiet night, you can hear the ghosts howling and scraping around. Oh, you know, the folks around Kunda. Go there yourself and get the details firsthand. You'll find the Kunda outpost just outside the landing port. Is this gonna... Not sure what they're doing here other than causing trouble. There's not really much work here for mercenaries. Maybe they're here to collect the bounty on that Jedi. I don't know for sure, but that's what they say. Oh, yeah. Yes, General? Yes, General? Hey, get away from that door! The last time somebody messed with it, it was locked down for months before we could fix it. What did I... What did I tell you?
cara nana gundoso remine a que lo racto curo catada. Manama treto sobre para acto drun. Crisce men tru gre babano. Der winter runto wakare ko e wap gerebu. Nen so der winter runto wakare ko e wap atara tana chingarada. Der winter runto wakare ko e wap gerebu. Nen so telepachan ko. Tere wana jun konata de la guno tuna. Dai rinto run kare kare papana la ranchinga. Tera. Der winter runto wakare
my lightsaber. You've destroyed it. I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. You must. The alternative is only another death. And I would rather die by your hands. I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. Yeah, they're a pretty secretive race. I heard that some of their kind become Jedi, but a Sith? That's... well, that's a new one. I'm not sure how you'd go about killing one. It'd be tricky. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. The Sith carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel, the empty places of this ship are filled. I hope your thoughts in this matter are clear. If you take her on as a servant, know that the Sith meet their end at the hands of their apprentices. It is not something I would wish to happen to you. This one you have saved has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Perhaps I am not convinced. Did he? And what do you make of that? The Mandalorians were right to respect you on the field of battle. The Jedi are gone, vanished. Now, an entire planet of Force sensitives wiped clean of life. And now this slice of the galaxy is blind. It is no coincidence. The two events are tied. I fear you are right, and I fear it may prove more than that. War is a hunger, and there are spirits in the galaxy whose hunger is never satisfied. But there is little to be done about it now. Watch the seer carefully, she may reveal more. Ask. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. Feel this ship, the welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Now stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus 
on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. Yes? Have you come with questions? Very well. When I spoke of sight before, there is a similar handicap that tends to occur among those strong in the Force. They neglect their skills. Some believe they no longer need them. The greatest wielders of the Force are those that maintain some grounding to the more physical realities of the universe. Some wielders of the Force have mastered piloting, others the ability to fix and repair and build, from simple moisture vaporators to more complex machines such as droids and vehicles. One's ability to understand the human body and its ailments, for example, can make your powers within the Force more complete, more powerful, when you attempt to repair the cellular damage of another. And others have mastered the more subtle work of politics, persuasion. Do not doubt that a galaxy may be conquered with words, a republic overthrown, and an empire made. When such skills are honed, one's abilities with the Force become that much stronger. My warning to you is this. Do not rely on your companions to compensate for your weaknesses in skill. There will be times they will not be there to help you when needed. What skill would you say is your greatest strength? And what skill would you say is your greatest weakness? Then my task before you is this. Take your greatest weakness, devote effort to it, strengthen it and I will show you how it shall strengthen your power in the Force. As you learn and train and test yourself against the galaxy, all your skills have a chance to improve and grow as well. When you devote some of that training to your weakest skill, you will know. Ask. I know her as much as I know any... Ask. And... Because it was its time. Perhaps you should ask her. It begs many questions. Her people are not prone to violence, war or hatred, yet their planet is obliterated, scoured from the face of the galaxy, and all that remains is a Sith. The Mandalorians were... The Jedi... I think... My life for yours. I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. I felt you, heard you through the Force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. I serve my master. I am an emissary, a scout. My master was aware of a disturbance in the Force, but was unaware of its nature, of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know. And that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. 
You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space, and even I do not know where he travels. Until he calls for me, even if I could lead you to my master. I will answer what I can. It is not something I speak of. I will... I am not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space, but there are others who may move. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are... I will... My people once had the power to perceive events, to see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways, and at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you, it is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. My master, he has crippled me. I have seen the galaxy as it truly It is not something I can explain. Yes. Very. Have you done it? Very well. Then know this. All situations contain within them the potential for violence. To know how to hold that violence in check, to restrain it, and use it to hold the situation to your advantage is the way of any wielder of the Force. Skill does not always draw from the Force, but it is a measure of power nonetheless. It can grant knowledge, help steady oneself when one's thoughts are in chaos, or grant enlightenment. Much can be achieved without the Force, as you know. Life continues, persists, and may be helped or harmed as a result. Now I am tired. Leave me to my meditations. General? Let me see what you know. Yes, something else I can. Charanana Gundoso
What do you want now? 